Welcome, welcome, Minecrafters, to Medieval Minecraft, episode 37. And in this episode, we are going to build a lava drawbridge. Because if you've been watching this uh, series, you all know that this village is surrounded and protected by lava all the way around. With a really low wall out around the lava. And we haven't had any mob sieges yet. Let me go over here and um, show you how I have been getting in and out of this village for a while and how this little lava protection system has been working. It's been really nice. So you can see we've got a bunch of our evil mob friends outside here hanging out. And you can see that what I did is I basically put buckets of lava down and then stairs. Oh, here's one of our buddies right now. So isn't it nice to see Osama's been bombing burning up out here. Oh, that's always a fun sight. Fantastic. Yeah, these guys aren't too sharp, right? They'll come running right over into the lava if they see you. And that they'll burn up. At one time, I thought about, uh... Oh, no, I don't think I want to join another game right now. No, that's not going to work. At one time, I thought about putting hoppers down out here and collecting up the drops and everything. But, uh, nah, not worth it. So... Notice how I've got jump boost here coming off of the pyramid that I have on top of that uh, hotel. And I use that to uh, basically get in and out of the, the uh, by doing that. I just cruise along and jump off. And uh, the jump boost is enough to allow me to, uh, to take off. And uh, when I'm coming in, sometimes it's a little harder when I come in. i got to time the jump exactly right here. And see that? See how I caught a little bit of fire right there? So... What I'm thinking of doing is putting in another gate. Now I did build one of these gates over here. I'll show you how it operates and what it looks like and everything. Those of you that are really good at redstone could maybe build one of these yourself. Um, I'm going to go through the whole build here so you can see. So I put one in over here and the reason I put this one in over here is because when I'm just outside of this block that I'm standing on right here, I lose my jump boost power. I'm just far enough away from the beacon so that uh, see how I just lost jump boost there so when I was over here sometimes I'd run over and I'd jump up and I, I couldn't clear the wall so it was kind of a bummer so I put this in uh, it's just a piston driven system that shuts off the lava right there and raises up some stairs so you can just run in and out so that's how it, uh, how it works see how the stairs just got retracted the lava flows back out so no mobs could come in here uh, if you just saw the video we just made on the ocelot trap, there's our ocelot trap right over there. And this is how we were getting in and out from it. So I thought it would be nice to, uh, to show you how this thing works. See how the blocks come up, stairs come up, lava gets cut off, and you can just run in. Okay, so now we're going to run over and uh, start the build. I'm going to go through most of the build here because I think... It'd be fun, and for those of you that are interested in learning a little bit of redstone, I'll, I'll talk about how it works. Also, you'll see kind of the mistakes that I make when I'm doing a build like this. Oh, hey, here's some more of our buddies. Hey, you guys. Yes, come right over here. Thank you very much. Step in the lava, and you can donate some arrows and bones, right? Although we don't really need any of those because our grinder's working. So I'm taking out the lava right here with the bucket. And the, then I'm going to put down, those are the two blocks right there. They're going to pop up into that position and block the lava. So I'm going to have pistons underneath those. And then here I'm going to have a set of stairs. And I'm going to put a piston underneath the stairs right there. Okay, so I'm kind of marking where I'm going to put the pistons right now. Now the cool thing about watching this whole build is, you'll, like I said before, you'll see the mistakes that I make and the you know, how I think things should work, and when they do work, and when they don't work, and things like that, okay? So I'm going to want to put a piston right underneath that. If I get over really close to this thing, I might be able to get the piston to face up right here. Let's see if I can make it work. No, that didn't work. Well, rather than messing around with it, I think I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just take the stairs out and uh, throw the piston in right there. Okay, so there's one piston. So we'll put the stairs back on top of that. And those will pop up when we activate the uh, piston. And when I say piston now, I mean sticky piston. I'm using all sticky pistons in this build right now. I 
think I might use one non-sticky piston when I set up uh, a T flip-flop, but uh, let me just uh, use piston. Okay, it'll be simpler for me. So I'm going to try to put in solid blocks where I'm going to be using redstone. I could leave sand down there where that is, but just for me, it reminds me of uh, you know where I'm going to be shooting redstone through or where the you know the, the signal's going to go and things like that. So I'm just cleaning this thing out here. I'm going to put a piston obviously underneath that one, and we're going to send the signal through here. So we're going to take all the sand out here. Now, just so you know, the reason that we have to have this wall up above this thing is because the villagers are not too bright. If you just put lava all the way down around your village, the uh, the villagers actually walk right into it. The mobs will obviously get killed, um, and they won't come in your village. But if you just have like a trench of lava around your village, it won't work because the villagers they'll, they'll, and they'll just walk right into it. Also, you lose your dogs and cats and stuff like that. So we're putting a repeater down there because we're going to send the signal through the block that, that fires this piston, okay, into the, another piston on the other side of it. So I'm going to take this lava out here now because I just don't want to, you know, when I'm digging around down here setting everything up, I don't want to, like, hit another, hit lava. Okay, let me think about this for a second here. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to put a piston down right underneath that, and we're going to want to send the signal in. I want to send the signal into um, a T flip flop from outside the village here and also inside the village. So I definitely want to piston underneath that. But I got to figure out how I'm going to send the signal around here. I think I'm going to send the signal. Yeah, let's go figure out where we're going to put this thing outside. That'll be cool. Okay, so we're going to have to put a piston facing upright right underneath where those were. And then piston face it upright right underneath that one. Now, this block right here on my left is going to be really important. I'm going to have four pistons driven off of that block. So the signal is going to go into that repeater that's going into that block right there. And that block is going to drive four pistons. It's going to have a piston on top of it that's going to have stairs. So here's the one that's going to have the stairs. Okay. And then I'm actually going to have another set of stairs out here. And then dig this out okay so I'm gonna put another piston right down in there okay right there stairs on top of that so now we've got two pistons that thing's gonna drive and then we're gonna have the two pistons that are that are gonna shoot the blocks up and cut the lava off right next to it so there's a piston right there we're gonna put one right there okay they're all so all four of these pistons okay are gonna be touching that block so that means that one signal is gonna be able to drive them all up at the same time so let's put this, so I'm going to put that little block that's uh, right here. This is what's going to cut the lava off. A block of chiseled sandstone there. I thought I think that's going to look kind of cool. So now you kind of see how pistons work. You just send the signal into a block that's touching the piston, and the pistons will fire. So let's uh, clean this out a little bit here. Now you don't even really need in this design to have the chiseled sandstone there. You can actually run right up the center once those stairs pop out. But I thought it looked kind of nice and it makes it a little easier to run in. Okay, so now we're going to clean this out and make a path for the signal to come in from uh, both sides into a T flip flop. And when I say a T flip flop, it's just a device that makes it so that you can send the signal in. Um, and have it just turn on and then when you send another pulse into it, it turns off Okay, so this is uh, I'm thinking of putting the T flip-flop down right along here on this side So I'll have the signal come directly in from the outside one right into the flip-flop down over here And then I'll run the signal around the other side To uh, activate it from over here now what we're gonna do is Just kind of test it out I think we'll just clean this out a little bit here and I'm throw a block down under there and we'll put a lever down behind it and just make sure that uh, all the pistons fire. So here we'll put a lever in right here. So this is where the input signal is going to be. The signal that comes out of the little T flip flop will be going into where we put this lever. So just throw the lever and make sure that all the pistons fire.
Okay, so we got the stairs on the inside coming up. We got the two blocks that come up and cut the lava off. We got both sets of stairs on the outside coming up. So it's looking good. That's it. So all we need to do now is kind of fill it in and figure out where we're going to put our uh, little switches that activate this thing. I think I'm going to make a little pathway out here. Yeah. I think I got to take one more out here to make it nice and even. Let me think about this for just a second. I'm going to have to have the signal coming down here anyway. So I'll take all this sand out right here. Now if we have the signal running along down here, as long as it's not touching the block that the piston's on, we don't, well, we might want to put a repeater down there, we'll see how that works. So I'll make a little pathway here, it's going to be about four blocks wide, put the flip flop right over there. So let's, uh, yeah, the signal come right around through here, that'll be perfect. Okay. Think about how I'm going to do this. This is uh, not a sticky piston that I'm going to put down now. I think I'll put it right in here and then I'll put a block of sand on top of it. And then I'll put another sticky piston coming out of that and then I'll make our little T flip flop. So I'll put a repeater in here to make it so that we send the signal into the little block of sand. The way the T-flip-flop works is send the signal into the sand, piston's underneath it, so the piston fires very quickly. As soon as the sand moves out of the way, the piston shuts off, and it's fast enough to make it so that a sticky piston can't pull the block that it's pushing back. So here comes the signal into the T-flip-flop. Here's the block of sand. We're going to put that right on top here. And then I'll put a sticky piston facing out of that right here. And a regular block sitting in front of that. Right there. And then we're going to send a red soda signal through that. Put a little torch underneath it. So now when this block comes across, it's going to cut the signal off. That's perfect. And the redstone signal will travel up right from there. So we'll put that right now. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, good. So when a block comes across, actually, the signal will light. Okay, that's how it'll work. So let's uh, kind of test it out here. Put down a button right here, I think. And we'll put down one on the outside here. I think I want it to be over here. Yeah, just pretty far away from the where the lava is. Yeah, probably, let's see. Yeah, let's uh, yeah, maybe over one. Yeah, I think right there would be better. I'll take this one out. And we'll take the sand out right here. And then. Uh, Redstone signal will go right underneath that one. And then we just have to step it down over here. Now I think I want the walkway to, to only be three blocks wide. So I want sand right there. So let me throw a block underneath this I can put sand on. And hopefully I can get the signal down there fast enough. Uh, underneath the sand. I want this to be a row of sand right here. So let me see if I can figure out how I'm going to do that. I take, yeah, right there, come over here. Yeah, that'll be good, okay. So I'll just bring the signal over one and then down, and that'll make it so I can have blocks underneath here that I can put sand on. Okay, that's it. Doing a little decorating while we're doing our little build here, right? It. Yeah, it's just, uh, I'm going to go uh, inside now and take a nap because there's nothing worse than doing a build like this and having a creeper walk up behind you and 
blow up your build. Although what I could do is just bring these cats outside. I guess that might work. Just set them up out there. But you never know. They might run in the way of where I'm doing the build and everything. Okay, so I think we're set up now. All I need to do is uh, connect up the signal from the outside here and give it a little test run. Make sure our T flip flop is working. So I'm going to put a bunch of buttons around this thing. I just uh, I like to throw them almost all the way around it so that no matter what direction I come into this thing from, I can just hit the button and the, uh, the gate will actuate. Or the drawbridge or whatever you want to call this thing. Okay, so now we're going to have to throw down a half slab because otherwise the signal is going to get cut off. And you know something? I think, yeah, the half slab won't go there. So I think what I need to do is to take this uh, yeah, block of sand underneath here out, send the signal down right here, and then throw the half slab in right there. Yes, exactly. Okay. So now the signal doesn't get cut off. It goes down pretty quick. I can fill that in with uh, stone right there. That'll be good. And we're all hooked up right now. This uh, little T flip flop should work. Signal comes in, actuates the pistons. That should be fantastic. Okay, so let's go over and uh, hit the button here and uh, give a little test run. I'll be amazed if it works. Oh, it does not work. Hey, what's going on here? This is not right. Okay, now. Now let's see, signal going in, sticky piston right there, fires that off, should shoot the block across. Well, I don't know. We've just had a little update in the game and boy these T flip flops can be uh, kind of finicky. I've, I've done them a lot of different ways. Usually this is the most reliable way to do this. So I don't quite understand why it's not firing here. Let me uh, run around here a little bit and uh, take a look at this. This is a great example of uh, you know figuring out how the redstone works and making sure everything is running right. No problem there. Lots of contact. That's looking good. Let's try it again. Now we definitely have a piston fire in there. We can hear that happening, but we're not firing. The signal is not getting into uh, our gate, so something's wrong right down there. That for some reason that block is not getting moved across. Boy, I'll tell you, that's really odd. It should definitely be working. Although, you know what? I, uh... Oh, I think I know what it might be. Let me think about this for another minute here. Yeah. Let's try, uh... Running the signal all the way around here and testing it from this side. I'm going to put a repeater down here just to make sure it doesn't cross talk with that piston that's sitting right there. And we'll uh, just uh, temporarily run the redstone over here. And we'll throw in a button. Uh, let's see. i got to take this out maybe. Yeah, I'll put a button right here. Maybe. Right there. Okay, so that should send a signal across there. If this works. Yep, signal goes around. Oh, piston fires. Oh, for some reason, the sticky piston is not firing. Okay. Well, you know what? I, I've i had this happen once before, and it was just the orientation in my world. It could be that. I might have to turn the T flip flop 90 degrees. And I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I mean, it's hooked up right. You know. Piston's definitely firing up. Just not getting the signal into the sticky piston. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to cut this whole thing out and run the signal around. Yeah, cut out all over there. I have to dig this all out. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I, I know how to repair this. So I'm gonna throw uh I'm gonna put some uh sandstone down in here. I think I gotta put it down one level below that though. Uh, I can put it right there actually. It'll look just like it did before. Right. Sandstone there. 
and then we'll put sand on top of that and then I got to dig this whole area out over here to make it so that uh, I can turn the piston system here this little T flip flops gonna have to be turned 90 degrees well I hope this is a solution okay well the good news is you know if you have this kind of a problem in your world and uh, this happens to be the fix you'll uh, you'll see how this whole thing works Well, let me just dig this whole area out over here, make enough space to uh, throw in the uh, little T flip flop. You know, another way to do this, you don't have to make it a T flip flop. Actually, most of the gates that I've made in uh, my worlds, I just use hopper timers with long delays. Because then it's just kind of like a, a fire and forget thing. You know, you just uh, push the button, the hopper timer actuates, the thing, the gate. Uh, opens and then you got you know, make sure you leave yourself enough time and you know, put enough blocks in the hopper timer to make it so that you have plenty of time to get into your, or out of you know your world or your whatever you're trying to use whatever you're trying to get across or whatever you're trying to actuate now one of the reasons I'm not using a hopper timer in this design though is because I am kind of close to where the villagers are going to be and I don't want them kind of running out you know when I'm coming in or going out or something and the hopper timer hasn't actuated so that's the principal reason why I'm using a little flip-flop here and really uh, the design that I'm using is boy I'll tell you it's the most reliable one I've ever done so it's kind of interesting that it's not working so let me think about where I'm gonna put the signal in let's just uh, send it directly into the back of that repeater so I think over here is where I'll uh, put the block yeah put a little redstone up on top of that probably and some down right there and then I'll put a block right here and I'll put the torch right underneath this so that's where the uh, signal will come in when the block goes across right there let's just throw a block on the top of that maybe so we know what it looks like and then sticky piston over here that's gonna shoot it across right there and then right behind this is where the railer piston is gonna go with the sand on top of it now I could probably run the signal straight down into this but you know, because I'm having this orientation problem here you know I could put the signal right directly into that put the, put the railer piston underneath it I think that uh, because I'm having this problem here I think I might just dig the whole area out behind this and, and then put a repeater behind that See, I could put a repeater right there but I'm not even gonna try I think I'll just uh, you know, go over here and clean this whole area out on this side just to make sure it works you know this is certainly the design that I'm putting together right here is definitely the, not the most compact or anything but it's just something that, you know, hey, I can do it on the fly here, and, you know, I know it'll work once I get it going, right? So I'll dig this out here so I can get more space to shoot the signal into it here. I'll have to go over probably, uh, yeah, one more block probably. Yeah, just step it across here, yeah. Now for me, this is one of the things I kind of actually like about Minecraft. You know, you got uh, little problems to figure out, and, you know, Redstone is just a blast. I really, uh, when I first got into this game, uh, Redstone is something that I really uh, spent a lot of time playing with and learning about, just so that, uh, you know, you can make little custom devices like this. And when things don't work out so perfectly and your design doesn't work the first time, it's kind of fun to uh, just figure it out, you know. I wasn't really, uh, I got probably going to put a repeater down here just to make sure the signal is strong enough coming off of the other side. Right, like that. Okay, good. Oh, uh, no, you definitely don't need to have that thing on a delay. We're just sending the signal straight through. Okay, so it's not going to interfere with that piston there. Looks like it's okay. Now we've changed the orientation of our little device by 90 degrees. Let's see if it works. It does. Okay, excellent. Let's see if that uh, block stays across, and it does. Okay, that's how it works, okay? When you send a signal into it, the, uh, the sticky piston doesn't have enough time to update. So it just pushes the block across and it stays across. 
Okay, so let's uh, make the connection right there, and now we should see the whole thing actuate, and yes, it does. Okay, fantastic. So the issue, the problem that we had was that the orientation in the world, this is kind of weird, okay, in Minecraft, the orientation in the world of which way the, uh, the pistons were lined up and which way the signal was going into them um, wasn't correct. It didn't work. Kind of a little glitch in Minecraft. But uh, we figured that out. That's really cool. So now I'm just going to fill this whole thing in, basically. We've got it all set up, right? I'm going to have to run the signal up, uh, figure out where I want to put the button to actuate it on this side. The one on the other side is already done. Now I'll throw some torches down in here and light it up. And uh, we're basically all set. I'm going to have to uh, put some solid blocks in here because I'm going to have to put the uh, lava back in here. So all the redstone is basically done. What I'm going to do now is just, uh, I think I'll speed the video up while I light this thing up and finish putting the blocks on the top and putting the path in and everything. So I'll be uh, right back. Okay, well that was fun. Oh, we got one of our buddies out here. Oh, geez, I don't have any, uh, I don't have my, uh, sword or any weapons with me. I'm gonna have to run over here and grab my sword before this guy comes over and takes a bite out of me. Oh, he already did. Holy cow. Hey, buddy, you're toast. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, well, we got the outside of this thing basically done. I'll have to come back and put the lava in here and everything, but this is what it looks like when the pistons are up. And that's what it looks like when the pistons are down. So let's uh, get ready to put our lava back in here, maybe. Looks like I definitely need something to eat, though. Holy cow, I'm almost starving. Great. Okay, a few buckets of lava. Now, at this point where I'm putting this uh, thing in, the lava doesn't flow so good over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is try to make it flow. Oh boy, it looks like I'm almost out of uh, sandstone blocks. Yeah, looks like I am. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to have to go craft up a few more of those. Wow, those cats that we got in the uh, last episode are meowing up a storm over here. The entire time we've been working on this, we could hear those guys. Wow. That was a lot of fun making that... Uh, little ocelot trap. That thing uh, was pretty simple and pretty quick and easy to do. Okay, so we're all done on the inside there. Let's uh, see how it looks. Stairs pop up. Walk down. And we close it off. Lava flows back. Now, like I was saying before, the lava might not flow as evenly as we'd hope it would coming out of here. I've had a little difficulty with this corner. And I was putting the lava down before because it's got to flow over the edge. So I'm going to put down blocks like that to try to make it so that it, it flows at least three blocks out here. Hopefully it'll flow out all the way out. And then when I take those off, um, hopefully it'll flow over the edge here. Let's see if it does that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that looks nice. 
I'm not sure it's going to stay like that, but we'll see. Let's close this one now. Okay. And I'm just trying to direct the lava all the way out. Now, I don't know if it's going to do this when I run the pistons up and down, but let me throw this sand down over here and make sure that uh, at least it comes out four blocks from when I first put it in. And then we'll hopefully it'll do that when we uh, pull the pistons back down out of the way. And it did on the other side, but you know, the other side's a little different. The other gate's a little different. It's not, uh, you know, it doesn't have this dual elevation thing going on here, you know, flowing over the edge here. Okay, so that's the way it's supposed to look, like that. And I'm not sure it's going to stay like that when we send those pistons up and down, though. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so that cuts it off. That's really cool. So we can run inside. That looks great. And then uh, let's see if it flows back out again. Take a look. Ah, you see that? There's that one right there. It's not going to flow out. But that's okay. You know, the whole reason we got the lava is just to keep the spiders out, right? The rest of the mobs uh, won't jump over this wall, and the villagers um, can't jump over it either. So it's really been kind of nice. This has worked really good. I... I built it like this because I wanted a way to be able to look out, you know, and see what's going on in the world outside here. You know, my first world, I built a big wall and everything with a moat around it and all that. And I just, yeah, it looked uh, a little grim. Certainly not as open and airy as this design. If you want to see how to make uh, simple drawbridges, you can uh, watch my video titled uh, Simple Drawbridges. It's like three designs there. But I hope you enjoyed this video. We uh, did learn a little bit of redstone. We learned how pistons work and repeaters and how to send signals off of buttons and uh, how a T flip-flop works. This is Sir Kelvin of the Arch, and I'm signing out.